This here at 6, it's not just travelers who are stranded because of the winter storm that hit much of the country. It's also the bags. Look at this. Thousands of them just sitting there at Tampa International waiting for someone, hopefully their rightful owner, to claim them. Fox 13's Evan Axelbank is on bag patrol tonight. He's been there uh, pretty much all evening for us. Evan, has the, the pile, the stack there, gotten any smaller or, or bigger? Well, uh, the, the pile has uh, basically been a rotating pile. Some people are picking bags up, but then more people are dropping bags off, or the airlines are dropping bags off, at least. You can see right now, uh, this pile is still pretty much the size it was when we were here a little bit earlier today and talking to people. Hundreds of bags, if not thousands of bags, are here. You can see there is some movement at the carousels right now, but it is just an absolute mess right now. People are still trying to get with Southwest officials here to try and figure out where their bags might be and let's not forget that behind each bag is a person who needs it. The bags are packed as tightly together as they are filled with shattered dreams of a great Christmas. Each bag represents a person trying to get somewhere. The red side of TPA's baggage claim is filled with thousands of bags in neat rows waiting for owners to come find them wherever they are. They said the bags from our flight are right in this area so we get to look through and try to find them. Catherine Halleck of Pinellas Park had her flight to Nashville canceled yesterday but after her bags were loaded on. Somebody came out and said oh if you're flying to Nashville go home your bags will not come out tonight. Kit Lou flew in to see family three days ago but her bags are somewhere in southwest shuffle of cancellations and connecting flights that never took off or that got stranded in Tampa. FlightAware says Southwest has seen 3,000 flights canceled between yesterday and today. We have two girls and none of us have any clothes. They said in a statement that we are still experiencing significant disruptions across our network as a result of Winter Storm Elliott's lingering effects on the totality of our operation. With the weather now considerably more favorable, we continue to stabilize and improve our operation. Do you have a name for this pile of bags? I can't say that on the news. Kelly Woods has seen her trip bagged. My flight yesterday got canceled, so I rebooked. So let's go to Atlanta and then Chicago. So I'm not going to make the connecting to Atlanta. They don't have another flight till 9 o'clock because I already missed my connecting twice. That's all tough to follow. But what is important is who is still waiting for her on the other side. My four-year-old granddaughter is waiting for me in Chicago, and I'm like, oh, I was supposed to be there yesterday. Sorry so, to hear that. Yeah, um, so I'm just going to go home now. Uh -huh. Southwest also says they're rebooking as many customers as possible, but that depends on there being available seats. And right now, we've been told seats are hard to come by. Somebody told they told me that they rebooked their flight for twenty-two hundred dollars for one way just to get to Denver. Unbelievable. Those who have had their flights canceled can get a refund or a credit, and they are encouraging people with lost luggage to try and talk to people who are here on the ground who are working for Southwest uh, at various uh, airports around the country, including this one. We have seen this problem at several other large airports in the United States, but Chris, you can certainly call this baggage blizzard 2022. Oh, I, everything about what you just showed us make someone not even want to attempt to travel by air or do everything you can to avoid having to, to check a bag because that is just tough right there. You can feel the emotion in uh, the voice of Kelly, the, the woman you spoke with there. Let's hope she gets to Chicago soon and gets to see her granddaughter soon with the bag intact. Thanks, Evan.